kings do the fighting. What the hell is this? Roy! You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. I, I, I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Make it so. No, no, no! By the gods, no! What? Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? 
might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the griffin. Tit for tat. Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. Faster. Jennifer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Who are they? Patriots. Drinking their seventh round for Tamaria. Fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey, then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it, just this once. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? I cannot show Temerian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fund of the Imperials. You Nilfgaard's whore. I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. They hanged my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. 
said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition, that they don't fear the wrath of the gods, and you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let my sister tending to the birth, and you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath. You don't oh. fear it, you cunt! Leave me be! Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say witches steal young'uns. That's true. What the Emperor promise you, freaks? Your own land? Like he did the elves once? Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. <laughs> so much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. started. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? You didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you, but I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it, in Vizima. Ready your horses. We can talk here, some charming orchards nearby, in bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys, or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group, for as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't, though I could have. Fine. Guess I'm willing to hear him out. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Metina, Ebbing, and Gamera, Sovereign of Nazare and Vicovaro, will feel honored, I'm sure. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer Morhen, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible.
no. I had a dream about you recently. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. Just the beginning. But then... But then... <laughs> this tomorrow, all right? After the audience. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to His Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? In that chair. Catwin, please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. And prepare to answer some questions. General, I, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, Witcher, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality. But one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth, unknown. Parents, unknown. Age, unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander, one Arya. Voltest ordered me to clear the path. The boy stood in my way. Cutting down the Lavalette air. This made no impression on you? Uh, I suppose it wouldn't. What's some baron to 
an assassin of kings. Moving on. You then found shelter in charming Flotsa, and from there made your way to Virgo. My question is how? I left Flotsam with Yorvith, commander of a square tail unit. A slayer of monsters and a slayer of men. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. You were there. And once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. The mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. Ought to know I care about her. And I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tanserville to bits. <sighs> An old acquaintance, more like. Not so close that I felt bad for her, but close enough that I knew she deserved it. He believes he alone knows what is good and what is evil, and that this gives him the right to dispense justice. Your comrade Letho of Gullet described you so. Quite accurate, I'd say. My comrade, your agent. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. Well, that alliance has been dissolved, irrevocably. I killed Letho in Loch Muin. So we heard. It's a good thing you did. Saved our agents some messy and difficult work. I believe that is all. Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc., etc. Here and here. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Geralt. Good luck with your audience. Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Where are my clothes? Where well, they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. They will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. This might come as news to the gentleman, but a towel wrapped around one's waist is not fitting attire for an audience. The gentleman will kindly dress. Hmm. 
A touch tight in the waist, but it will do. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the North and South. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. That, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner. Not to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Please, this is neither the time nor the place for such antics. The gentleman will watch carefully. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Gotta be kidding. Not at all. I am mortally serious. Does the gentleman know the penalty for breaches of etiquette in the Emperor's presence? 200 lashes. I do not wish that upon him, so I will not let him leave until I am confident that he knows how to behave. Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Daifen Aden in Karn eb Marvut, Emir var Emreis. Bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen vat gern favort. So many months at Faltest Court, yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. You know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks? Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter Cyrilla, she's returned, and she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. How many men in your army? Twenty thousand? Thirty? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me? Yes. So tell me why you are looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless, if for no other reason than because I shall pay you more than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more.
Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Ciri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me. Only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. gentlemen not understand. Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the Emperor? Relax. Nothing happened. To the gentleman. But I shall be punished. How? Please keep close and bother no one. We've had enough breaches of etiquette for one day. It's past noon. Calm yourself. What? What? Ah. Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm Herevard the second, Prince of Elanda. Not only am I made to wait yeah. here like some ah, supplicant. Ah, once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Will sharpen it. Yes? Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Emir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morn. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Ciri, all right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Ciri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt before the Wild Hunt does. The Wild Hunt? What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the Hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... I prefer not to think about it, really. So where has Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. 
your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. Might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound. As soon as possible. Yeah. Mention something of the sort. So long. Is a yondrain at my care. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest.
Come on. That's it, Roach. Come on, Roach. Step away. Chaplin's praying. What do you see? Looking for a man. Goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. Haven't finished my drink yet. In Cape, vodka. Who's this? Uh? Brave warrior, looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers, too. You fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? Someone who'd prefer not to be bothered while he's having a drink. <laughs> Hear that? We've a distinguished gentleman in our midst. Shine your boots, governor. No. Wouldn't want the grime in your hands to rub off on them. Bolo, did you hear what I heard? Go away, or I'll kill you. Damn it! Enough! Come on, let's take the floor! Oh, 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 how long are you gonna make me do it? Dear, what the Baron will do when he learns of this butchery? The village! He'll tear it apart before anyone can say it was some wandering mutant done it! An iron fist he's got! Where's Hendrik? You deaf! You understand what I'm saying? Baron won't let this stand! Calm down. Your Baron's no idiot. Seriously doubt he'll think you locals cut his men down with farming implements. Now where's Hendrik? Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, and he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep. Go out the back. More of the Baron's men in the village. No need to worry about me. 
I'd rather you not make any more trouble for yourself, for us both. Given me no choice.
Youngins, when the great least, dog don't let descends, them go hungry. brother against brother will grow. strange, like dropping into a deep cellar on a hot day, and the mist.
like dropping into a deep cellar on a hot day. And the mist. Be whoever you is. Get away! Calm down. It's over. Aye, it's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that ever. Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream. How he can suffer. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. Took him all. The sun was waning, see, and the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, strange, the toads, I cannot hear them. the terrors, yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No, and I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell, and peace of mind to you. Mm. 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 